you remember an evening when a sunset lit up the whole sky with an amazing red color, redder than you had ever seen before? You may be asking yourself, what causes these dramatic sunsets, and can we predict them? Well, the first answer is frequently a bank of high clouds, and the second is often yes, you sometimes can predict them, and I believe anyone can do it. Occasionally, sunsets can be so spectacular that they distract from big events. This happened in Canberra on 6th of December 2016 when a dramatic sunset loomed above a cricket match between Australia and New Zealand. Fans were so impressed by the sunset that they were briefly distracted from the match proceedings. Now, a couple of things to note about this sunset. First, the sun is not visible at all. And second, the cloud has a bunch of undulations known as mamatas. These are usually associated with intense thunderstorms, but they don't have to be, and in Australia in particular, they can occur on the banks of thick high clouds as the air interacts with the dry Australian air mass. Slight sidetrack, but here's another example of this from Melbourne, though not at sunset. Now at this point you may be asking, if it was so cloudy and clouds block the sun, then why was there such a good sunset? The answer can be revealed if we look at the infrared satellite image for around the same time. Infrared images show us the temperature of the clouds, with white being the coldest and therefore the highest. Over southeast Australia you can see a thick bank of high cloud that lies over Canberra. This is the top of the same cloud that can be seen in the photograph. Now also crucially, the sky is almost free of cloud to the west. In fact, there is a quite sharp change from cloud to no cloud. This in essence pretty much sums up what you need for these types of amazing sunsets. Thick high cloud over you, but also far out to the west, it needs to be at least partially clear of cloud. Think of that sheet of cloud as the canvas and the dying sunset as the paint in a giant one-of-a-kind temporary artistic masterpiece. Now the camper example is from a massive frontal system that was draped across southeast Australia. But much smaller weather phenomena can also produce great sunsets. In particular, some of the most spectacular sunsets are caused by that giant king of clouds, the cumulonimbus thunderstorm. To illustrate a thunderstorm dramatic sunset, let's look at a recent example over Darwin, Australia. To explain this, we decided to utilize U-Storm's talented animation department down in the basement of our Darwin headquarters. I can tell you that they were pretty excited at the prospect, and I think we can all agree that what they produced has both informative and artistic merit. So the situation on 18th of February 2017 went a little bit like this. During the afternoon, the sun baked the land, producing thermals and small clouds. These grew in the unstable conditions into deeper clouds. But importantly, the winds above about 9,000 meters altitude, about the height of Mount Everest, were easterlies. As the afternoon progressed, the clouds developed into large thunderstorms that threw clouds well above 9,000 meters. So consequently, the upper parts of these clouds were blown by the easterly winds, and so began moving to the west towards the coast. As the evening set in, these anvil clouds continued to move west and offshore, but it still remained clear far out to the west. So as the sun set, in its dying red light, it shone underneath the clouds and lit them up from below. 
So that is our cartoony explanation, but in order to predict this sunset, we would need to return to answer our two questions. Is there a bank of high cloud over us, and are there fairly clear skies far out to the west? To answer these questions prior to the sunset, we need to return to the infrared satellite imagery. This infrared loop covers the afternoon and evening of the sunset. In this imagery, reds are the highest clouds and then yellows, greens to blues, where dark blue is completely cloud free, so clear skies. Now the yellow sideways V indicates the direction of the first time lapse I'm going to show that looks at the thunderstorms that produced the high cloud, which we can see develop as red blobs of cold temperature cloud tops in this imagery. Now looking at the time lapse that looks east towards the thunderstorms, we can see them throwing clouds high up into the troposphere that then spread out towards the camera, and that's towards the coastline. Now returning to the infrared loop, but now looking later in the evening, we can see the thick high cloud from the thunderstorm spreading off the coast. And crucially note how there is far less high cloud out to the west. And that's the second of our stunning sunset criteria. Now the second and third time lapses are looking in the other direction, that is towards the west at sunset under the high cloud but towards the setting sun that dips underneath the high clouds and then briefly lights them up from underneath. Now before we go any further, I think it's time for a montage with some cool free to use YouTube music from Twin Musicom called, appropriately perhaps, A Flash in the Pan.
if all you need are high clouds over you and clear skies far out to the west, then in some cases you may be able to use computer weather models to predict sunsets days in advance. Ah, I hear you say weather models are not reliable enough, so it's crazy to think they could predict a sunset. Well, don't be too sure. The movement of high clouds is often governed by the upper level winds, and these in some cases can be predicted days in advance. For Australia, there are a couple of options for checking the high cloud predictions. This is a view of northern Australia uh, from the Bureau of Meteorology's model, and it shows the relative humidity at a level high in the troposphere, where there might be high clouds. Where the humidity is high, which are the blues, the chance of high clouds is greater, and where it is orange, the chance is lower. So we can use the same basic rule to make our prediction on the sunset. Another computer model to look at is the Global Forecasting System model. And the Brisbane Storm Chasers actually make a plot of clouds predicted at different levels. There are various other advanced level sunset prediction techniques, which if there is an interest will be included in later versions of this video topic. Finally, a couple of other tips. Firstly, if you're watching the sunset or sunrise and you're in the sun and it starts raining, or if you see rain behind you, turn around and there's likely to be a huge rainbow or part of one. The largest rainbows happen uh, around sunset. One of the things that you must not do is leave too early. High clouds get lit up best just after the sun goes below the horizon. So there might be a temptation to head off to get dinner as the sun sets. It should be too early. Hold off leaving for another 15 minutes or so after sunset. Remember that sun somehow has to sneak its light underneath the high clouds before its light gets blocked by the surface of the earth. If you've seen a great sunset, let us know in the comments. Maybe include a link to a picture or video if you have it. We're going to look at a bunch of other fun weather to predict like rainbows, moonbows, water spouts, tornadoes, lightning, hurricanes and much more. If you'd like to see these videos, uh, then please subscribe and thanks for watching.